Is off about that in just a moment, but let's give the uh, the pissed around the love, the attention, the uh, respect it so rightfully deserves. Kyojin taking this peek down through the ramp, and now looking to swing in is dead to Nafani. So there's the opener for Gambit. They're picking up the pace towards this A bomb site. Axel late lurking mid. Normally it's Hobbit we see over here. But a bit of a change is afoot. Nafani out on the short side, dead after one, and the trade doesn't come through for Shiro. Vitality don't want to overextend. They know they found a bit of a golden goose, and now they sit with a man advantage. Axile's luck might Aww. just maybe <laughs> deal with Zai Wu. And maybe you lower your guard a little bit there. Once you see you've dealt with Hobbit, he's often the guy coming in on these mid lurks. Well, there's more lurks where that came from, oh. my friends. Axile with a nice double to open. Shiro shuts down this late rotation, and Axile goes on to win them the whole damn round. So, what I was going to say, Hugo, to make a bit of a case for why this could be exciting, why the Gambit streak could get broken, is. Uh, you know, we saw that Liquid game go to OT. It looked like Liquid were going to be the team to, to break yeah. the, the win streak here. And obviously, Gambit didn't let that happen. They ended up winning that matchup. One of the big reasons why it got so close in the first place was that was another real rough performance out of Axel. I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on him to not let that Inferno slow start yes. get to him. And the fact that he just got three in the pistol, oh, it's boding well for the Axel recovery story. Yeah, in that, in that game as well that you're talking about, he went three and fifth. 15 on the T side, right? He pulled it all the way back in. You know, he didn't have a great second half. It was more OT in the final few rounds of regulation where he stepped up. But, uh, but yeah, that was a scary game for Axel. Liquid was just abusing the B bomb site a lot. And, well, he started strong in this one. That is one hell of a way to make the haters forget, forgive, maybe. We'll see if Gambit deserved that yet. Setting in towards his B-bomb site. Kyojin's here with a Deagle. He's not got any support, though, and that's a lovely start. Forget Axel, he's gone from this round. Kyojin, how much longer can he last? Well, we've got these mid lurks coming through from Hobbit again, so back to normality there. Hobbit isn't someone who really like looks to to go early. If anything, he likes these late backstabs like what we had out of Axel in the uh, in the pistol. Apex has now taken ramp away, and so this is going to free up more rotations for this B bomb site. Vitality hadn't actually stacked that many players there. Now they start to reinforce B, and they're oh. going to need to. Shocks. Oh, okay. the Deagle's looking what? good. Shocks has ruined the round for Gambit, and it's only Hobbit left. The Deagle. In Shoxi's hands, is blessed by the gods. Some kind of divine intervention there. Finds him the triple, and now they just got to finish off Hobbit to close it out. They've got the bomb at ramp. They're not fighting him. There isn't time, and so Vitality have stole that round away. Give me the replay of them Deeg shots. Damn, look at this, right? You think the first one's good, and then you go, oh, well, all right. Well, he doesn't get a third, does he? And then he gets a third. Oh, that's one way to start the half. Flip the script immediately. Echo talked about how the, the recent pistols have been problematic for Gambit, you know, and, and when not, the conversions come through. And that is exactly what Vitality steal away today. No second round, no easy freebie. And I'm excited to see Vitality on CT because while we hype up Gambit on this map, and rightly so, Vitality in that Cole game, they were incredible. They were all over that A site. They locked Cole out of ramp on the CT side. They went 10-0 up before things even ended in a 12-3. Barely let Cole breathe in that map. And so it was a lot of you know, A shutdowns. Gambit no to worry about the ramp right now. They haven't really tried to test it too much. We'll see that later. Flashplay, Kyojin goes over the top with a Molotov. That's a gr uh, great combo there. Burns out Axile, forces him to reposition blindly as well. The re -aggro, not what Gambit were ready for. Everyone's here and not for long. Oh my goodness, Tech 9 tap back through the wood, or through the metal rather. Two on three. Gambit have forged a path into B after all. Yeah, it turns Nade knocks out Masuta. And so the revenge plan is well and truly afoot. 
This late lurk from Apex might be able to strip it all the way, though. There's one. Can't quite locate that second man just yet, but Inter's the walking oh. wounded, and Apex puts him out of his misery. Vitality, they do convert that after all, winning out these force by wars and putting Gambit onto the pistols here to try and get up to that 3-1 lead. It's kind of cool as well because uh, both Hobbit and Nafani came out and said that you know that they do want the, the revenge against Vitality for that two and zero loss they copped against them at yeah. IEM Summer. But are they going to get that, or is it the dreaded HLTV curse? Now ah. I did quickly go back and look and see if they'd mention you know how oh yeah Vertigo is really good. Everyone knows what to do on Vertigo yeah. or something cursed like that, and they didn't mention it. So maybe that bodes well. If everything goes wrong, we'll be fine. But, you know. but maybe you coming out and saying yeah we want to get revenge against Vitality. Maybe that's the curse. Maybe that's the curse. Sometimes you can't always pinpoint it, but it's there. You don't know where. Yeah, exactly. Curses work in mysterious ways. Yeah. Right. Like for example, if I say yeah, Masu is gonna wreck everyone that comes to middle and then they just don't go middle that that is still kind of cursed yeah in a, in some small way and you seem to have done that right gambit aren't coming to middle because vitality coming to them hunting these kills in t-spawn and easy easy freebies it's only blocks after all apex keeps that ak for now three to one flawless as it should be and gambit they need some serious wizardry to get back on this t side Yeah, that won't hurt for force, right? They uh, they were on a, they were on quite the streak as well. I think it was 17 at that point before things finally fell apart in the round of 12. back through now for Gambit, oh, but look at this aggression yeah. from the offset. They're looking to get in your face. Yeah, you trade that out, but it's still a MAC-10 for an AK. It's a Zywu for a Nafani. Things could be worse. You also spooked Gambit out of ramp Ooh, for the time no. being. However, Vitality now start to go back, reading into this that they've just dealt with Zywu outside of A. We should be cognizant of a fast A push on the back of this. Not terribly uncommon to see Gambit do that either. Get this opening kill, try to work the ramp control a little bit more. There's that cross the short smoke throwing to really give this illusion that there's still players at A trying to worm their way up the ramp. Oh, this flank is so fast as well, right? They may have given up B. Kyojin playing retake might be a bit of a warning to Gambit once they get into the bomb site. But how much warning, how much time will they get to read to realize? Because right now, Shock's coming in on the flank. He's going the wrong way, the long way. He might check A first, but now Kyo just made the call. Careful, boys. They're in the B bomb site. Smokes it down. I'm hearing feet pittering and pattering. Shocks is coming in to close the entire around he needs his team to draw enough attention no molotovs for default and with a player on top of the box it's fine Hobbit covers the flank and apex gets spammed on the lip of the smoke as all the kills come in for gambit Woo, they were ready for yeah. that one and no man that, that's such a shame right that's Two, just the, that's the fear of losing zywu at the bottom of ramp and expecting them to be taking more control once again all linking back to when shiro uh, drops that smoke to give the illusion that players are either pushing up around it or taking short control away with no one to peek that when shocks is lurking he's like well i'll go look at a just to make sure we're not getting faked on here yeah. his timing would have been perfect if that was the immediate b-rap if you have any way of getting that info that ramp was clear but because of shiro smoke you never got that information shocks wastes his time and by the time he gets to the bottom of ramp hobbit's already watching it considering yeah. one of these mid wraps and that's also because gambit gets so much space to be there they're like oh if i you know it, it clicked in their head last time when we had apex on that flank like gambit looked back for a second in the 2-1-2 and they went why is that why is that ct play not doing anything but then they started throwing utility and that drew gambit away for a moment well this time there was nothing of the sort there was no one throwing mollies on the bomb plant or you know denying space for gambit so they go well if they've given us this much this much room it must be for a reason gambit go back to their default players holding early delaying the ramp take as they will have to against a team like vitality got to give them some semblance of respect with this smoke now no maybe not maybe not at all spam through it finds i Wu dead first Shocks bringing his orb into the picture, and Kyojin needs no help from the sniper. Takes a couple and then evades capture, leaving Shocks on the angle. Yeah, will they be ready for Apex? Will they just kill him through the smoke, XD? 
Ooh, Ooh, Anthony, yeah, step, fakes yeah. the footsteps, but it's not going to work if Apex is already down and in your face. They're really relying on Vitality being up in the bomb site, right, and not having this ramp control. Apex making a big, uh, you know, push out oh. here gets them the info that ramp is clear, and he's oh, now fast again. flanking, calling for these rotations to come in towards the B bomb site. Shox just needs to buy up even a little bit of time, but he's dead without getting anything done. Kyojin still facing, and Masuta. Almost caught in the open, trying to buy time for Apex's wrap round. I'm having deja vu. This time, Shiro's going to look to outmaneuver Ooh. him, and he's going back to A. Bye bye, Apex. You've got to retake this one, bud. Yeah, he's got everything to play with, though. Kit, Molly, Smoke all picked up off the back of these bodies on B, and he's starting to walk. Did Shiro hear him? He knows where he's coming from. Going to check spawn back turn, though, and he had to flick, and Apex was already deeper than he was ready for. Hit the perfect timing to start walking there, did, did Apex. And we saw the, the value of the flank come in this time, and that's because, uh, you know, Vitality, again, are showing more face on B. Now, really, it's less for Apex and more for Shox, right? He gets blinded on bomb site. He's just getting flashed out, pushed up. Masuta throws himself into the round, gets involved with Kyojin. And so that's good for Vitality. It buys enough time for Apex to get one off the flank. But then Shira, I you know, Good, good attempt, good play to go back to A, even if it doesn't prosper. Couldn't get back into CT spawn in time. We're still scared of the elevator. Four to two. Gambit being tested, though, and that's a good sign for Vitality. Not just a one-hit wonder. Yeah, and you know, I mean, that, that's kind of the nature of this, right? Like, you can go on huge streaks on maps. You can have a phenomenal track record, but all the good times have got to end eventually, right? It's very, very hard to stay on top for so long. You, know, you think about Astralis, how they used to have uh, Inferno and Nuke streaks going. I think it was Big who broke their Inferno streak, if I remember correctly, which was very unexpected at the time. Yeah. It's just very, very hard to stay on top because you're consistently having to... You don't want to stray too far away from the golden formula that you find, right? But you have to keep innovating as well because the more games you play, the more research your opponents have, the more well-versed people get, the more your playstyle becomes the meta, becomes the norm. Here we go into B. Kyojin has been spotted. He can't really see them above the wood. The smoke goes, does a good job of keeping them at one way. Masuta throws himself through. And a similar results coming in for Vitality. They're falling like flies. Apex just trying to keep this one alive. He can't. Only Zaiwu. They chase him and he gets some damage off. 20 health. Zaiwu might want to give it up. And so out he goes, hoping Gambit feed him on the escape. And if they don't, it might have to be a save for Zaiwu. Hate to have to call it. Vitality, though, really just throwing themselves into the bomb site there. Masuta caught out on a limb, swinging off Jens, just trying to trade kills. But Gambit have really good space in coming up into that B site. And I also like that way that Axel used the, uh, the the wood and the smoke on the top of stairs to essentially one way Kyojin in the bomb site. He could barely see anything. It looks good for us because we have X ray, but I can guarantee Kyojin is not as fortunate. Yeah, it's very promising that we're getting a good start out of Axel, because uh, otherwise that could have opened an avenue for Vitality to just abuse this B site in the second half, right? Something that we saw the Team Liquid squad do to great results while Axar was having a bad game. Well, that's all Gambit are doing right now as well, right? Like trying to take on the rookie of Kyojin. Rookie's a term, right? Like uh, the, the, the least experienced player inside of this roster right now for Vitality. So yeah, it's, it's working. Even though Kyojin is certainly not seeming to be the problem, it's the retakes that aren't coming in. Even when he's going one for one or getting a double kill, Vitality are having trouble with the retakes unless the flank pops off. Mid take, line up though, Inters cleans house. And Zaiwu, even though he wins his A fight, he's the only rifle in this round. Gamut could have just committed into B there, they didn't want to. So now they go weird, they go slow and low and they group up back in T spawn. Crossing towards A. Where has Zaiwu gone? They hoped he, uh, he's rotated out of A after cleaning the entire ramp. And in fact, he has. So this is a perfect play for Gambit. 
Should be nothing that can Ooh. go wrong, but we know these flanks have been apparent in rounds gone by. Shox is trying to activate yeah. them again. Now, Shox is making a big play here. He's getting all the info that actually there's no one at B, so it's either mid or it's A, and Zai Wu is now cleared middle. They hear the molly landing at A. They learn the terrible truth that this is the A play. You're going to be constantly paranoid about these late mid lurks, right? Saiwu is looking forward right now, looking into the bomb site, not oh. quite able to open up. And with Shiro already posted to deal with this flank, there's not really anything Shox can hope to do here. Get the gun from top yeah, mid. Yeah, go get that AK from top middle. Really do have to give it to Axel though. Like, how how do you reset this impressively after such a shambles of a map where you go out of Inferno and you feel like you lost your team that game, right? Like, that's probably where your head's at. You know, a lot of rounds, you're thinking back uh, to, to moments where you could have multi-kill, where you could have just saved the day. And then you come in here. I guess that is the motivation, right? Like, I can't let that happen again. I can't be the reason for my team's failure. I've got to pick up Slack. And he did in the pistol round with a massive 3k right there, killing Zai Wu. If Zai Wu gets that kill and then gets time to hide out on, on boost, Shox gets in on the flank. Gambit are probably watching for Zai Wu. There are ways that round can get out of control. But nice shot out of Axel to keep it even and now we see the round start to get picked up for Gambit on this T side. It was inevitable. It was always going to happen. It was just how long Vitality could starve them off. Oh, this mid lurking from Inters has been great. Just not letting them get this control that they're hoping for. And this already feels like a little bit of an adjustment out of Gambit, right? We've drawn attention a lot to these Hobbit lurks on mid. Well, he's not really poised here alone a lot of the time in the early round. A part of me wonders if that's because something that Liquid were doing really well against this Gambit squad, currently the team in the Pro League that have come closest to beating Gambit, was, uh, was taking this mid fight versus Hobbit in a few of the rounds and using that to convert like an early five on four, take an early advantage. Whereas now, Hobbit is always joined by Inters on this mid play. They hold early, especially up against, you know, anti-ecos where they've only got pistols to worry about. And now they're both double splitting this mid to be. It is almost a full stack here, but it's going to get dismantled by the mid lurk. Masuta left up alone and Hobbit's already holding for this rotation. It should be a locked in round for Gambit. And Hobbit's going to make it so. Three kills from the man and Gambit are up in the lead. Yeah, you've got to buy here, but you're not happy about it if you're Vitality, right? You would love that AWP. It can be so influential on the CT side. And now that Shiro started to get picks towards B with his, you're wanting it more than ever. However, not an option. Not going to full save again. So Vitality throw everything but the kitchen sink at Gambit. Try to keep things even again. Back to Orb on A, finally. Gambit taking here out of spawn. They get a leg shot off through the crane into Apex. Gambit yeah. have not been going here early. Something to note, you don't have the kit in place, so you really don't want this to come down to a retake. Oh. Zywu playing wow. that one way smoke is able to deal with the man on the other side. Hobbit brushed aside, and so what started as this early, you know, five on four for Gambit. Zywu is quickly flipped the other way. Playing it pretty fast and loose with the info plays at ramp, and that will eventually come back to hurt him. Kyojin's also deep at B. And this could either be the thing that makes the round or breaks the round for Vitality. And it might be the latter with Axile opening up like that. Yeah, it's such a great way to peek it as well from the left side. His teammate's got a trade of Axile, you know, gets caught by stairs player. Now Shox is in. They don't know about this. Oh dear, whiff spray. Couldn't pick a target. And Axile is the entry man right now. Just opening up bomb sites, mainly B. And even though Gambit show a bit of face on A, trading two for two, they run right back into that bomb site that has given them so much in this T side. So you're going to save an AK, and that is all the vitality have going for them now. They're going to have to full save, keep some pistol armor, and go in with the next. That's going to give Gambit even more room on this T half. It's going to be seven rounds, you would assume. Yeah, it must feel so frustrating to play against Gambit on this map because it's like the only way it feels like you can beat them is by making these info plays happen, right? By trying to get ahead of the curve. Because they're very, very good at gimmicking and, and you know, like 
shimmy in your CT setup surround and misdirecting you essentially. So everyone's keen to make these info plays happen, but it ends up turning that round from a four on three into a three on two, you know, B take that we see before our eyes, both Zaiwu and Masuta playing for these deep angles. Zaiwu gets caught here, trying to look down ramp for yeah, the info. Insane. I don't get me wrong, you weren't expecting Shiro no. to hit that, but he does hit those. And yeah. then once you lose Zaiwu, the pressure was really on, right? You had to you had to start to split that defense up, lean away from B, put more bodies in the A bomb site. That's why Masuta starts to feel uh Masuta, Kyojin rather starts to feel the pressure to play up close outside of B. Yeah, this is gonna be getting in Vitality's heads. We know they're an emotional team, right? But they just win a first map. They go 4-1 up on this CT side, everything feel, feels fine and dandy, and then Gambit have that late activation that we were Worried that we'd never come through. Got to keep our heads in it if we're Vitality. Five on four. Zywu grabs a quick pick down ramp and scurries out without the gun. Couldn't get it. Re-Molly and re-Flash. Apex is ready to throw that in. Gets Zywu involved once again. Hobbit's getting close to those. I would not know, have the choice, and Hobbit takes the headshot. Smoke on the Molotov. Masuta with a one rifle. Saved over. Needs everything. He needs to live. The nades are not going to let that be easy, and he's caught by Inters up on the ramp. Even if he made it past that man, there was a short player who was already out onto default. Four on two. A site lost now. We've barely seen Gambit touching this site. Not more than faking out the ramp play. So now they're finally getting executes off, and these are things Vitality have yet to have to deal with. They were just trying to figure out how they could stop these B executes and yeah. find these right timings on flanks. And now they've got a whole different problem to worry about. No, and I, I would expect to see more of this, right? Bullying the B-bomb site and Kyojin when the rifles are out, knowing that if anyone's going to make mistakes, it is the, the lesser experienced player, someone like Kyojin. Right, because when it, when it comes to the A-holds, you've got like the, the most tenured kind of experienced guys here for the most part. You know, Apex and, and Zaiwu playing off of each other towards the top of ramp, and they know what they're doing. They know how to put a stop to what Gambit are up to here. Yeah, and last Eco as well, we saw Vitality basically stacked fully on B. That was around the Hobbit came in on the mid lurk and was able to stop them from construction, right? So you know that Vitality is just trying to pad up the B-bomb site. It's the Mayan games. It's the in-game leading aspect of CS that always keeps you guessing. It's getting stressful here for Vitality. This one's slipping through their fingers. It's far from done. But you don't want Gambit to 11 for you. You need a round here on the CT side to get the, the juice flowing again. Shocks with the orb now over Zaiwu. Sometimes a factor on the CT side of this map. Oh, Zaiwu. Oh, shooting is a death warrant. That's just going to draw them back into you. Daphne fires through, seeing the tracers with his Krieg. Gambit still loved to run this weapon on this map. Molotov will lock Shiro out. He smokes it to keep position. And the ramp smoke fades at the same time. Ooh, Apex playing with fire. Oh, oh we smoke this. Jeez. He's still alive for the time being. Oh, he's just trying to get out of there, but he's on a timer and he knows that he will just have to run away and concede this territory. And this is why Gambit are infuriating. Like, while this has been happening, while we've been focused at ramp, everyone else has just been holding all these other avenues, denying info plays to Vitality. And so it feels like it's grinded to a halt, but this is all by design for Gambit. They're keeping the pressure on Vitality. And sometimes doing nothing is the best way to get in your opponent's head, right? Make them misread, make them over-rotate, start to get anxious. Now you set up back in towards one of these B plays. Oh. Difference this time is it shocks trying oh. to hold the ramp, but not even that is enough to put a stop to Axile. While well, Axile's selling this, mate, yeah. the other guys are going back up ramp. Gambit, just the king of rotations on Vertigo. Yeah. Vitality can stop the bomb here. If they get a kill in the next 15 seconds, maybe they can win the round, but they throw themselves in to the fire and the flames and Gambit win every fight involved. Who cares that Axel dies at B? His job is done. His fake is sold and Vitality bought it above market price. It's only Kyojin. 1v4, uh, just trying to get out with a the gun. They don't want to let it happen. Jump to bait this shot. And oh, Kyojin almost hits another. They're coming from both sides. He still hit wall bangs. Or below him, man above him. Where do you go? Where do you look? Nowhere. Back to spawn. 
Gambit find eight. And that is a perfect round with all of the B executes that we've been seeing out of Gambit. Just that one entry for Axel getting rid of the solo B player and the Orb of Shocks was enough to make Vitality pull the wall over their own eyes. <laughs> Shout out all the cameras in the fan cams. I see Ollie, I see Layla. Yeah, we got familiar faces in there. Richard was there earlier. Richard Lewis was in there earlier, yeah. <laughs> Supporting the, uh, the Nip boys. It's one word for it. Yeah. Nade into Naphany, but nothing to write home about. Mate, Gamut on this map must just feel like such a paradox because you can't just give them the ramp control or else they're really going to wreck you with it. But a lot of the times in trying to fight for it and giving away a man early on, like, like the first fight versus Gambit is weighted so heavily. Like if you go down a man early, it, it so feels almost impossible to recover against Ooh. this squad. And so Kyojin's the eagle opening up. Well, now you just fall back. You play the five on four. Yeah, he has been doing a really good job of beat. Like, we have seen, you know, shuffles of him and Shark swapping positions, but Kyoji has been pretty damn good at getting away with, with absolute murder on this B side. They know. They've seen something. They've seen a leg, a shadow. Just enough to keep them interested. Hopper going to volley him forward. Shark's where can he go? Nowhere. Hopper's got that frag, and now you know there's a man in your business, in your B side. Zywoo wins that fight, and that will send the bomb back. Intel's was trying to cross bridge to go A. Now you've got to commit to B. Yeah, finally, right? You're not letting Gambit oh. shimmy these rotations around. You've got them fighting you head on. Oh. But Shiro, fully content to do so. Wonderful bit of warping. A great little sequence there to open up the B play. Zai Wu, they're anticipating a flank. They're anticipating a wrap round. He's here oh. fighting them head on. The Krieg in hand. And Shiro, the last man still to beat, has already crossed the ramp, but he is looking to fight Zai Wu. Smoke goes a little deep. That Molly gonna force the reposition nice. out of Shiro and Zai Wu's one step ahead. Finally gets to come into his own, grabs that round for Vitality and puts them up onto five. Oh, dude, that's a Zai Wu round right there. The one tap onto the bomb planter as well. And he reads that perfectly. He's expecting Tetris, but with no one peeking out on the left side after he dropped the smoke seemingly on the bomb. He realizes there's only so many positions Shiro could be in. Perfect Molotov. If Shiro's playing stairs, that's a very hard clutch for Zai Wu, but great shots out of Shiro to get them there. Vitality just trying to hold on, man. Like I said earlier, trying to stop that 11-4 from going down against them. Well, they've done that at least. They've stemmed the bleeding. Break the steam, break the momentum of Gambit on this T side. Oh, and Gambit uh, switching up the pace. This time they want to fight you for ramp oh. control. They get up in the face of Zaiwu, and they almost get Apex. Now he will swing back out, finding the four on board. Oh, okay. oh, that could have been the play that gave it all away. Instead, it's the kills that might lock in the round. This might force an immediate reaction out of Gambit into the B-bomb site. They go, Kyojin needs to get one at least, and they're up close. They're about to wrap him. What? That's a free kill. Axel throwing into this one on two, but he's made it a doable round now. Just Masuta left to beat. And with the bomb on his back and a whole minute, 10 seconds oh, left on the clock, Axel, as the way he sees it, he's got all the time in the world to get tricky with this one. He heard Masuta drop off Khan as well, so he just ran away to fake it. Masuta hasn't fallen for this. He's still here. He needs to pick a good spot. He can't just be out in the open. Get some cover. Hope that Axel doesn't believe you're truly here. He's even got a molly to get weird with it. Checks out middle. But we'll hear this bomb go down on B. There's the steps. There's the info. Can he get the molly out or does he want to remain invisible, silent, sneaking in off of Con? Axel aggresses, gets up close by the gens. Hard spot to clear, but he's not ready for Mizuta waiting in heaven. It's a free round for Vitality as they find yet another great play. I, I talked about the bottom frag as well. We had Nafani just run up ramp, get that opener. Mizuta did the same right back to him, brushing the smoke. And then Kyojin, that was super weird. Like playing out on Tetris, he heard that Axel got up right beside him, but he decided to take that deep play at first. Knowing that Intus was throwing utility for Axel, he caught him with nades out, but it just meant there was no chance for a multi-kill. Axel, so deep. One was enough. Mizuta picks up yeah. a round. 
No, and, and that must feel really good for Masuta. Like, Gambit are very, very good at getting you to doubt your decisions, getting you to play an uncomfortable style of Counter-Strike. And there, he just goes, I'm kind of tired of it. I'm going to push through this short smoke, and I'm going to do some Masuta killing me on my terms. Yeah. And it always feels good like that. Zai Wu and Apex, they do the damage to open up in this round while Zai Wu's pulling the attention in. Apex gets the kill. And we say these first frags matter so much when you're up against an annoying, tricky team like Gambit. Well, Vitality might be able to get seven to close out this half after all. Yeah, Nafani, that, looks, that play looks crazy, but keep in mind, he is he is five and four in opening duels. Like, this guy has been really good at opening up rounds. So his five kills are all opening fights. And so, yeah, you know, often getting traded after that, but it worked in the previous to at least get them up ramp. He tries it again. Apex was covering Zai Wu, though. So this time not going as well. Hobbit, though, grabs a mid kill onto Mizuta, immediately gets a bit of revenge for Gambit. They needed that. Mom is still outside A. Two are grouped up at B, making noise. Shiro is holding on, hoping one of these early flanks come in, but Vitality have leaned away from doing that. And after losing mid to Hobbit, there's no way you're going to be seeing a flank in this round. Just about holding your bomb site. Two on B, very committed, and it's not often been that way in the past. Got that default player trying to bait them in. Bomb is still A. Keep this in mind as Gambit looked to sell the fake Hobbit. for 20 seconds. Uh, Hobbit blinded by Inters and didn't realize he was burning. Shiro is clutching right with yeah. the round right now. This is all designed for Shiro to win it, right? The guys at B, it was just like, do as much damage as you can. Shiro is going to try and win this one alone. Bomb planted for a ramp or short post plant. He's got options open. And still a Molotov in hand. Bear that in mind as we get into crunch time. So who's got a smoke for it, which might save their bacon, but we have to see if that gets used on the ramp angle or over the ward short. Both players creeping in. Apex going uh -oh. ahead of Zywu. Oh no, but the he switch! Takes the kill, Shiro ah. with the quick switch. Happens to the best of them and the rest of them as well. In half, Vitality now beginning their T side gambit. Dual Barrette is on Nafani, hello. All right, let's see what they've got for us. We've got a triple B as well for Gambit. Quick A smoke for Vitality. They ran this pistol the other day. It was a fake. This one is not mid-air for Zaiwu, and he decimates the duelies, picks them up for some or a reason or other, and looks to cover the plant. There's no way they can stop it here. Gambit have to respect that and come in for a retake with no kit. Not even Zaiwu could get okay. me to like these, I bet. Here okay. we go. Let's see. Come on, Zaiwu. Give me something cool. That's... Don't just die with nothing. Zaiwu, duelies out. Oh, Masuta's is going to help him. And maybe Zaiwu with two guns is more dangerous than Zaiwu with one. Inter oh. is dead on the wrap, and it's just Shiro left. Chase him down, boys. Eight on the board for Vitality as they pick up the pistol and immediately deliver a tie game. Yeah, I think we had questions after we saw Vitality look really good against Cole for a map and then struggle and then only just uh, close out the third after a bit of a comeback. You know, it was a weird series, and uh, we were wondering if Vitality were really here to play in these playoffs while well, this uh, has has no other answers. This is speaking for itself. Vitality, a map in the pocket, a pistol round on a comeback. This was Gambit fully controlling this game at one point, no longer. Vitality, they want to end it in style. They want to end it in two. They want to break streaks and hearts for Gambit fans alike. Just pistols here. Now, Vitality, they won their own second round force by as Gambit took the T-side pistols, so you can never count these Deegs out as we already know. But a conversion would put you truly in the way of taking this series. Yeah, they just heard that little one-way pop at the top of ramp. They can see it, so they know what the intention is. Spamming that out, trying to force that opening fight. Ooh, miss info B, the flash peek over the top of wood, and Gamut see nothing. They they fully leave the bomb site. They leave only Axel there, actually. He just stays around. And now Vitality are bringing the bomb back. They know Gambit have just gained misinformation, and they're selling the A-fake hard. Got to go yeah. soon, though. Masuta, the guy to, to, to dedicate to that, right? And for the time being, as they're seeing him, as they're spotting this guy, oh, they've right. now flashed into top ramp, and they realize, well, it's clear. Axile has called oh. the B push, and his Deagle takes one to the grave with him. 
leaves Gambit a man up in this retake. A four on three. Now there's this wrap coming in from Nafani. How do they want to use him? Are the three players going to push uh, first to draw the attention away? Or are they going to have Nafani try to be the guy to open up this round? Looks like the former. And slow on the approach, Apex throwing flashes over to enable this peek out of Kyojin. And he's really got to st stand oh. tall, hold the line, oh, but no. he can't. Everyone's dead. And now this rap from Nafani is even more dangerous. Zaiwu can't regain control. It's going to be damn close without the kit, but... But I, I don't. Uh, do they have it? It's real close. I think they got it. And then they just about got it. Nine on the board for Gambit. <laughs> And that last second retake goes their way. Yeah, I, I also the, the plant's not for stairs, which is fine, right? Like you're worrying about the fast flank. You don't really need to, you know, you know Misuta sold it enough, but that means you just can't play stairs as a post plant. Like Zaiwu has to stay in the site to fight with his team. That's fine if that's what you want, but it means that flank is even more deadly. Less map control for Zaiwu there. And yeah, everyone falls to those pistols just flooding out of CT spawn. No other way to put it. Vitality just gets turned into mincemeat on that B-bomb site. Gamma and they do what Vitality did right to them. Win that second round four spy. Vitality were able to go 3-1 up off the back of this. Will Gambit have the same fate? Because that round really does mean everything after falling to pistols. Nades for the back quad. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's that cool. is. <laughs> Chill. He survives the first two and Axel's going, oh, thank God. I'm so glad they only, oh my God. And then there's just more nades going off. And now that's triggered a rotation. Well, of course it has. You've just seen four frag grenades rain over the top of the beast stairs, mate. Yeah, that's a painful one. Smoke uh, misses. Don't know who threw that, but it lands nowhere. Is that a vitality smoke? I would presume, but uh, yeah. Let's just walk past it. Like it doesn't matter. Like it never happened. Reboost for Nafani, getting him up on the boxes. Shuriken, what's short as well from Boost. They've got Deagles, right? Deagles are the perfect counter to this position. The one shot needs to come through, but the smoke is down, and that eludes vision on both sides, swinging the site to take down Nafani. Sure, a spot, they got more nades, at least one more to land, and Hobbit jumps over to take out a double with a lovely Galil spray. Two Ts left up against the world, and Bomb Plant is not going to be respected. They go right through the smoke. Apex can do nothing about it. Back to the drawing board. Gambit here on to 10. Yeah, and that 11th round is looming. Really nothing that Vitality can do here. It's a shame as well, because they had this really, really nice nade stack open there. You were hoping that that was going to put them on the path to success, but just the raw firepower of Gambit, that smoke push from Hobbit, where Zywo actually just kind of walks into the bullets. Like, they were actually meant for the short guy behind him. Very unfortunate stuff, but a wonderful round from Hobbit. And this should be a nice, clean one. Not really too much to get excited about here. Oh my god, Shiro, you need to check this, bro. Oh, oh he didn't ah. check it. He didn't check it. Oh dear. Well, now Zaiwu's armed. He doesn't have armor behind this, so shouldn't cause you too many problems. Yeah, 11 rounds, easy, right? Like, free, man. Nothing can go Nothing wrong. Nothing can possibly no, go wrong. No, it's just a free round. Glocks, you know. Oh, ah. playing sandbags, but they do have a nade. That's the one bit of utility they got out of that ramp push. But they haven't announced their presence, so well, they don't want to now. And Glock's not going to do much against Daphne here. I'd love to see that nade go in. Would be cool. Right before they push, but I don't think it's going to. Inter's... Come on, Kyojin. Oh, this it's is all awkward. you've got. Your Glock is bad. Yeah. Just throw the name anywhere. Oh, no. It's the one spot that doesn't have anyone on it. So unfortunate. He and so there's it. the mow down. Inters to close it out with a double and Gambit up onto 11. Yeah, and now, you know, nature is healing. Gambit are returning to the CT side dominance. And yeah, of course, we yet to see a full gun round out of Vitality, but they need to start strong or not at all at this point. Overpass is our third map of the series. Should we need it? Gambit certainly believe that. Vitality could have really had, not a lock-in, but close as it gets with that pistol if they've managed to get the Antiquos following. Gambit have thrown a spanner in the works. Vitality gonna have to pull out their own toolkit. 
using Gambit's own smokes against them up on that ramp. No one committed behind it, though, and Gambit, no, they fight through the smoke, spamming as well. We saw Vitality get the bad end of the stick with some of these smoke spams. Oh my god, Gambit got in front of the Molotov. It actually didn't even bloom. Kyojin's dodged two orb shots. I was spammed out the short player through the yellow. If I'm not mistaken, Kyojin didn't spot Inter's cross. Yeah. I don't think he knows about him here. But Zywu is opening up the A bomb site. We can forget about Kyojin for now, but we can't forget about Inter's rap. Kyojin would have called, like, nah, I got the orb out of the middle. Yeah, they could have hit a timing and crossed in, but no one's really considering it. And it's a fake. Inter's is rap. Missing all these timings to do any damage as Vitality set up outside of B. Now, he could come in on a fast flank. A lot of this is just going to depend on if Axile can take oh, players out. With okay. him falling right away, should just be a save here for Gambit. You can see that Zai Wu never left that A bomb site. He was looking to deny these saves, knowing that Gambit, you know, once they, once they end up in like a three on five, they love a save. Yeah, it's like that NAF flank from the other day as well. It's like, you know, you just got full faith in your team to, to win the bomb site after you've sold so much on A that, yeah, you're, you're here to backstab. If things do go wrong and suddenly Gambit all over the bomb site, you can run the flank. If not, you're stopping the orb from going anywhere. Now, ooh, Shiro hits those. But he'll need to back up, skirt into ladder. Inters has his stairwell at least. And so these guns should be kept. That's reassuring for Gambit at a bare minimum. Inter stops Masuta. Shiro walks back out of danger. And Gambit avoid harm for now. Nice entries for Zai Wu, though, right? It was Inferno S. It was him you know, um, pinpointing this T side on Inferno with so many opening kills, so many multi kill rounds, getting them into bomb sites, men down. And Axar, the woes of the B site anchor have only just begun. Oh, every every one of these rounds, Gambit are giving middle a look in. Back to this slow ramp control. You're already gonna notice some like key differences between Ooh, Ooh that's lovely. Hey. Between how Vitality approached this mid control and how Gambit were doing it, a lot of the times when Hobbit goes mid, he doesn't throw a lick of utility. He just hangs out, you know, gun up the whole time. There's been a couple of timings where Kyoji could have got caught throwing flashes. It also gives away that you're middle, but if the intention is not to go middle and instead just to hold this control and deny the flanks, that's actually good. Nice. Shiro equalizes us into a four on four, and now we do have a bit of a mid take. But Hobbit is here keeping an eye on him. I like that idea. They throw the nade and then Kyojin swings in the smoke of the nade, but it doesn't do much to stop the rifle holding on is Hobbit. And these double orbs are destroying right now. Oh, bye-bye. Get out of my B site, says Axel. In terms where he may have fallen to shocks, Axel lifts the team up. Couple off that AWP, and he is having a game right now. It's the inverse of what we saw in Inferno for this fella. Top of the team. And joint top of the server with Zaiwu as well. Shiro there on that peak down ramp onto Zaiwu. He even dodged what he thought could have been a flash. It was a smoke. Goes back in for more double dipping. 12 to 9, and it's Gambit time. He's even holding for the run boost. Very Jeez, sweaty. Yeah. Ready for everything. And you know, the like double orbs fielded now for Gambit. I haven't even really seen this Iwu warp yet, so, you know, will we ever? Yeah, he didn't really run a CT, and he, he definitely doesn't like to run it on T side of this map anyway, so wouldn't be surprised if it just never comes in. But maybe, yeah, maybe that's uh, a problem. I mean, it's, it's a preference, sure, but could be a means to an end. It could be a route to pick up rounds. Maybe the old desperate times for Vitality might require it. But the money right now is just not there. Vitality with a near full eco. Just a couple of deegy boys and running out middle, trying to split this B site. Hobbit has been good at holding strong here, though. Yeah, Hobbit. Mid-King, he won't mess this up. No way he messes this up. Come on. 
Give us that big juicy double. There's one. Ooh, there they are. Brushed aside, nice and easy. Oh, okay. It's one okay. Hell of a piece of shocks. Shouldn't get much more interesting than this. And Shiro looking to make that so does get flipped around as Apex finds him. He wanted to juggle the AWP out of there, right? He just didn't want them to get to have it for free. He was running towards the edge of the map to try and throw the AWP off. Wasn't ready for the quick trade. And it must always feel like Gambit is just one step ahead. You know, wherever you, whenever you try and get tricky with it, they always still have numbers where you're looking to end up. These guys really are so good with their rotations here on Vertigo. Hobbit even said he thinks that's their biggest strength, right? Their ability to just rotate on the fly and have a very good understanding of when and where it's applicable. More smokes down and more spam to be found, but nothing connecting as Gambit played back in the bomb site. More passive this time. Haven't really seen much boosting over the yellow wall. Maybe that could come through. This would be a good round for it. They're facing on all fronts. Look at the layered defense, high and low. Gambit, wait for the commitment. Been a while since we've had these full smokes over on A. Vitality really got this control and got this respect from Gambit. It's only temperamental. Flashback in. Nafani's going for send. And oh, Masuta fully blind. He saw nothing but white. And he doubles up in the A site. Gambit feed the beast. And they're going to come to regret that. You might even call the save here and now. If smokes come down, you're just locked out. Yeah, for Vitality's sake, I hope they do just run the smoke exec. Like you say, right? Once you get smoked out of the site, it's over. You should be saving. Double orb. They're just hoping for lock shots. Yeah, Sashira's so going to be here. Just potter and shots in through the smoke. But will he be able to get away with anything? No. Now that the smokes are down, Shiro's just playing it. Deny this bomb plant on the spam. Yeah, that's why teams go for non-default plants. Like, even a little bit wide or a little bit behind a single box, not double. Like, even that is not super default. You're not tucked in the corner because we started to see teams, you know, and players pick up, like, wall bangs, lineups to actually deny bomb plants as well as the nade setups. And Gambit, yeah, they had to save that. They really did. Unless Shiro gets a random smoke shot, like, no way. Look at this. It's not like the flash fades. It's a perfectly thrown flash. It's a perfectly played peak by Gambit. But Misuta holds mouse one, pulls it down, and rocks up with a tenth for Vitality. Gambit feel that they may have the best game sense in the world right now on the map, but there's no outbraining that. No. And it must feel very weird for Masuta. Like, you never actually saw anyone, but you won the round for your team. Yeah, the flash phase, you're like, oh, okay. Thanks. Could I get that in a box to go? All right. This one's still up for the taking for Vitality. They've not been in control of this T side, though. They've only, they've only had single rounds reset by Gambit with, you know, multiple picked up on the CT side. So is this going to be the exception? Is this where Vitality can start to pick up rounds in a row? They're going to go right through the smoke. Yeah, here they come. Nafati trying to get cheeky as well. The timing on this oh. is real good, and he's out of there like a bandit after getting that first. There is a late mid lurk coming in for shocks um, with the rest of his team taking this ramp control, still fighting for it. How much room is he going to get given here? Axal scoped up on the mid angle to try and shut down any mid fakery. Shocks might be in for a bit of a rough time. Nafani at short. Oh. There's that late trade. You do get your revenge for Masuta. Oh, no. And Axel, oh, the no. timing on that, bud, is atrocious. We talk about it a lot. It feels like in CS, the moment you look away, that's when an enemy peaks. But, bro, I mean, yeah, that is awful. And for nothing as well. I don't know why he moved off the angle. Only for a moment. He doesn't get killed, though, but Shiro will. Kyojin lights out entries in this round. That's both up on short. Above the smoke, Hobbit does find a bit of engines. A bit of space for Gambit to breathe. Axel's so low, though. They've got a Molotov. It goes in. Axel's got to run away. And Hobbit goes over the smoke. That's three for Kyojin in this round. It was Mizuta doubling up last time. This time, it's Kyojin with a multi-kill of his own. And that has done enough to send Gambit back into the B site. 
And saving here doesn't guarantee you any kind of investment next round. It's not like you're going to be able to invest rifles around this. This is a very good spot for Vitality to really make this a competitive game. It looked like for a moment there, it was going to get away from them. It was going to elude them. But now they're in this spot where they can start to close the gap. They can make Gambit sweat. Remember, it's not just that 16-map win streak here that they're playing for. They want to keep progressing. If they lose this, they go down 0-2 in the quarterfinals, and that's the end of the run here in the Pro League for Gambit. Yeah, this is the team many expected to be in the final, right? Especially on this side of the bracket of all sides. Right? OG waiting in those semis. A flawless group stage run for them. Taking down NIP 2-1. Na'Vi, Heroic, Liquid, Ents, all these teams set up the top side of the bracket as well. So for Gambit, this should have been the easier half. This should have been their, their way to the final. But right now, they... Oh, they want to try some mid-aggression. Kyojin just drops down, gives it up. But this is going to let them flood into Ooh. spawn. Second man, they yeah, heard him running through. around at the generator. And so they're going to lock in that frag. At this point, you're probably just going to take a bit of a gamble if you're Gambit. Right, only three players and not well armed versus the, um, the still standing five rifles for Vitality. They're going to group up over towards B. And what you're saying here is essentially, like, if they come B, we have a good chance of winning the round. We have a good chance of stopping yeah. it. If they go A, we save this up, we save the M4, and we run it back again in the next. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Vitality are also still waiting, and I like this call. You know, they've, they've gotten two kills, but because the kills are so early, they just want to bleed this round for everything it's worth, right? If there are more info plays for Gambit, Gambit, we will punish them. If it's not, then Vitality know as much as Gambit, it's a stack. And this is why you might want to, it's a dangerous idea, but send in a probe, right? Send in a player to get that info. See if they can spot two players in the same position. If they do, then that, that sends you elsewhere. So right now it's a fake out for Mizuta. He's going to die or at least try and clear out the A site before anyone commits on B. Right now he's faking it, but Gambit up moving, Gambit aren't budging. And so will Vitality make that rotate call? Yes, they had to. It was a dangerous decision to not. He's going to tell them to watch out for sure. He still hasn't cleared that. But otherwise, Vitality made the right rotation rather than walking into the stack. And I like the Apex just leaves that ugly little mid fight there. He goes, well, look, the only way we let them back in is like, if I give a gun over, they go three on four, suddenly they're looking to give it a go. But if I don't fight it and we have the five on three, it's just a numbers game, mate. They will look to save these guns again. Yeah. And so Gambit, they try to hold on to the M4 AWP. Axile could justify, you know, like trying to hunt for one of these guns. You know that Vitality are going to come looking for you as well, right? Like they also want to try and keep you on the back foot in terms of the money. And so, you know, if you're able to find a hunting player, get a gun into Axile's hands, that's a nice little bounty to take with you out of the round. Regardless, there's no ignoring this 12 to 13 scoreline. Vitality are building back into this. Gambit came into this series wanting revenge, but now we're at a point where it might end up being the same result. Vitality just one away from tying this game up. Yeah, on different maps as well, right? You mentioned that summer matchup where Vitality took a 2-0. It was on Dust and Overpass. Yes, Overpass is the third map of the series, but if Vitality keep this up, Harry, not only will Vengeance be lost, not only will the streak be lost, but we'll never even get to see the same maps. That's four different maps Vitality have taken Gambit down on in important matchups. Yeah, this round really does decide a hell of a lot, right? <laughs> Gambit come in with everything they can muster. The AWP save forward on Shiro. He's done in that. Zaiwu has finally bought one out. Yeah, it's been a while. Inferno, I think, was the last. Molly's over the top. Not what you want. The re-aggression is so dangerous on short. Nafani will tuck in the corners. I will fires off the orb. Now they know it's in play. And that's a big question mark in and of itself anyway. Was that Molotov from Gambit and this one? Was it Vitality trying to stop the boost up? I, I didn't see where it came from. But it could serve as that purpose. Flash does nothing to Nafani. He's going to get this info very quickly. And he needs to as Vitality set up this B play with the boost. There's a lot of control here for Gambit. They have two players. Axel, uh, Axel's waiting for the other boost. He's going to cross into the bomb site with Inters. Perfect oh, he timing. Saw him. He's seen him. He's going to try and spam. He doesn't know about the double setup, though. Dink through the wood. Oh, it's a bit of a mess.
less. The Suter with the entry, Kyojin follows up, and Vitality are holding the site. Yeah, and with Hobbit dying, getting nothing done, it's another save out of Gambit. Oh my goodness. 13-13, and a flawless round to get Vitality there. If they weren't interested in hunting last round, they definitely are now. Everything hinges on removing even one of these players. If you take out this AWP on Shiro, you have ruined the future for Gambit. Nafani, you might not get away with this M4, bud. There's a lot of people coming your way. And he tries his damnedest to hold on. Two out of three, but it's not enough. Shiro's getting hunted as well. It's an entire pack of vitality. They know that by removing these guns, there is nothing left for Gambit at 13-13. Now they know where he is. Shiro's rung the dinner bell by getting that kill. Look at this, both Apex and Kyojin hunting it down. They do not want to let the AWP get out of here. Shiro, if you save this, it would be impressive, but it's not going to happen. Yes, I will want it. That's his. Wrap it up, put it under the Christmas tree. It's all for Vitality, 13 all. And this is incredible. With no money available now, Vitality are going to take the lead. That is just bound to happen. Only USPs out for the Gambit squad. Yeah, and you've got to give it to the young guns as well. I say young guns, it's not always age, but you know the newer players of Masuta and Kyojin, especially on Kyojin, the entries that these guys have given us. You've done it. You're still able to fully invest next round, including the AWP. It just gives you that much, that much more to fight back with here. And it's also not something that Vitality are going to expect at all. The reason they hunted so heavily last round was to ruin the economy this round. When you see Shiro has an oh, all, no. you're he so see? surprised. Sharks. Will he be ready for this double close angle peak? If he goes into B, there shouldn't be a way he survives this. And so he needs to be patient here, does Shoxi. Oh, oh no, he's heard the drop, bait. but that's a bait to yeah. try and get him to peak. And now Shiro oh still hasn't given up that the AWP is posted here. It's ugly for Shox, but... Crucially, he's still alive for the time being. Doesn't he's have out. a teammate nearby, and he's probably asking for help. He's probably calling Whoa. for it. Hobbit down at the bottom of ramp has gotten in the face of Masuta. And you're not out of the woods yet, especially as these B players get armed. Yeah, someone needs to throw that orb right out of the map, right here, right now, at the bottom of A. You cannot let that fall into Gambit's hands. You they don't even know about the orb. That's what I was about to say. You still don't know that Shiro is donning this AWP. That's the worry for me. You need oh. these openers, and Apex will provide them. A three on two. But now that AWP is looking to surprise you, Axile needs to hold on to the site. And with him dead right away, Shiro is just too far gone from this round to play into it. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were going to see an earlier rotation out of the orb, if I'm honest. Yeah. But now he's left saving. Yeah, he had to in this position. He was too far gone. Both players get lined up on short. This is quite the calamity for Gambit. It felt like it was about to happen, Harry. We had two pistol kills to start the round on Vitality's default. A must-win trade from Azuta. A double, triple in the round for Apex. Up on A, and Shiro saves. They never knew about it. It never fired a shot at least means that that risky investment doesn't hit you in the face economically. Inters could have still bought with 4,400 in the next round, right? But even despite that, I give the info over. 14-13 after a 16-map winning streak for Gambit. It might all fall apart right here, right now. Yeah, and it's one thing to have a streak like that broken. It's another by the team that you swore vengeance against to knock you out of the quarterfinals and break the streak, right? There would be so... There must be so much racing through Gambit's minds right now. And the only thing they've got to focus on is how to put a stop to this Vitality T side. But you've got all these external pressures weighing in. You've got all these worries. You've got this big win streak you're trying to protect. You've got a deep run you're wanting to commit to. Oh, no! And it's another opener for Vitality. This time it's traded by interns. He does what he can to keep this even. But Vitality aren't content with that. They don't want a four on four. They want a man advantage. So they've put Apex in the spot to give that over. That's what? a tag from Zai Wu's orb. Through the scaffolding, through the smoke. And Nafati's now got to give them respect. Yeah, he's not. Oh my god, they're walking up ramp. Yes, no, no idea. Considering it, Shiro's dead. And I love that from Vitality. The contact play. They, they, they hear the orb firing off at ramp. They hear the tag. And so Vitality just walk up. They go, look, they're giving us room. Right now they're readjusting. No one is considering that Vitality were going to do that. Yeah, not even me. That caught me off guard. I was about to make a point. I thought Vitality would get some respect. No surprise that Gambit are caught off guard as well. The last thing they expected, knives out.
15 round the corner. Gambit, they're going to go for it. They're going to throw everything they've got, but no kit right now. Resmoke for the ramp, but there's already a player in the middle of the bomb site. Misuta wins his fight. The flash is not helpful, but it won't hold you back either. Hunting the final kill. Inter is trying to get out with his gun. And it's tails between the legs of Gambit as Vitality sit a frag away. They've got it. Masuta, man of the hour right now. Take a bow. Three in the round, 15 found, and Gambit with nothing. Yeah, man, Masuta and Kyoto streets getting broken. And as you say, history getting made. You're trying to uh, knock Gambit out, put a stop to so many victories for him. And it might all fall apart versus Vitality. The bane of Gambit's existence. Nafani, is he ready for the boost? It would not surprise me if he is. He's trying to peek over it, but the short smoke, smoke is in the way. It. Oh, just do it. Oh. <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard to see down there, even with the height advantage as a CT. Nafani waits for the fade, but now he's caught with the AWP in the open. Nowhere to go and nowhere to hide from Apex. Leading by example to find the first, and now you can just let them sweat. Shocks oh. his B lurks as well. Well, he's not come through with massive, you know, lots of uh, numbers, high high impact kills off the couple he has found. Yeah, this is looking like all the makings of a mid to be one of these A lurks, perhaps out of Masuta while they poise for it, posturing themselves towards middle and the rest of Vitality. And oh. in they come, Kyojin with the opener. It's all starting to fall apart. Shiro and Axel, they will hold strong, but now you get the info that there's two at B. That means there's one guy on A. And that one guy might be about to have a bad day in the office. Axel, or Hobbit rather, holding the line. Zai Wu dead, and now Apex looking for a bomb plant. Okay. Masuta needs to cover him, and he will watch for this cross. Apex gets out of there. There is a ramp lurk from Axel. Fast flank from the B ramp. Apex oh. is ready for it, though. And so this is a 2-1. Oh, oh no. now 1v1. Shiro, clutch king versus oh. Apex, and he is going to keep the dream alive for Gambit for the time being. We're going the full 30 rounds as Shiro clutches it out to find 14. No kit, no problem. He's got it and even saves the AWP as well. This man swapped off the AWP for the multi-kill retake, and what a good job for doing that. Downgrading to a FAMAS. Oh, it puts tears in your eyes, but Shiro keeps the game going and vitality. That looked like all the making store around a 5 on 3 into the post plant. All room to breathe again, and that pressure is gone. They will start to look like an entirely different beast. Shock's going through the motions and back to the A ramp attack. You're still being smoked off, you're still boosting, but not for long. Flashes go through, and that sends Apex back. It even sends Napoli further forward with the SMG. Often see this get more banged on Molly. He looks like he wants to go, but they have a flash for him. It's a risky play to start the round, but they're going to do it. Smoke, Molly, flash, he's got it all. Here he goes fully through. Everyone's blind, including him. He sits in the smoke, and they take his head off. Zywu follows up. Hobbit's gone. You need Shiro more than ever now with the AWP. He is all that stands on this A site. Yeah, Vitality, they're not going to just explode on the back of that double. They're almost hesitant, thinking, why would they face us so liberally? And they got more here than they're letting on. Shiro has been given some time to set up on the short side rotation from Inters, leaves him in the bomb site. Shiro is, is going to need to emerge as some big hero now if Gambit do want to take this to OT. He's got the big ticket item. He's got the big green gun. And Vitality. They're trying to give Gambit enough rope to hang themselves, as it were. They go silent. They force this B stack out of Gambit, leaving just one Molly. man on shore. That Molly either pushes him forward or sends him back. He's got no choice but to fight for sure, and he has dealt with Apex. Now they start to take the site. There's a late lurk coming up the short side, but oh. Masuta beats Zaiwu to it, and now it's the Famuses for Gambit. Axal and Inters in a two-on-four to save the streak, to save their place in the Pro League playoffs. They've got to do the impossible. Double Famas, double smoke, and they've got the kid as well. Nothing else falls in the favor of Gambit, and Vitality is just bleeding that clock, waiting for this fade, using every bit of utility they have. Here comes Inters, got to give it a go. Masuta, man of the hour, drops Axel, hunts the final kill, and even though he falls, it shouldn't be a problem. There it is for Vitality.